Problem 14. The following analog clock has two hands that can move independently of each other. Initially, both hands point to the number 12. The clock performs a sequence of hand movements so that on each movement, one of the two hands moves clockwise to the next number on the clock face while the other hand does not move. Let n be the number of sequences of 144 hand movements so that during the sequence, every possible positioning of the hands appears exactly once, and at the end of the 144 movements, the hands have returned to their initial position. Find the remainder when n is divided by 1000. Let's replace the clock movements with upward and rightward movements on the 12 by 12 lattice region starting from the origin. A random sequence of movements looks like this. They may not visit a point or visit a point more than once. They can also visit origin earlier or later than 144 movements. A valid sequence looks like this. Paths never cross each other and it visits all lattice points in exactly 144 movements. The key feature of the valid sequences is that they are periodic with a period of 12. To see why this is the case, consider the first movement. Let's suppose it is a rightward movement. If this is a successful sequence and given such first movement, an up movement from the point 111 to 10 is not possible. Because that would create a double visit to 10. This means the movement originating from 111 must be a rightward movement as well. So is the one below it and the others as shown. Similarly, if we know the second movement, we can infer 11 other movements. Let's suppose the third and latter movements were all up movements. Then the other all movements can be inferred by the same reasoning as shown. Eventually all paths are connected and we get a valid sequence satisfying the requirements. In summary, in a valid sequence the first 12 movements predetermine the full 144 movements. We were able to construct a full sequence with 1 right and 11 up movements. Let's see if we can do the same with 2 right and 10 up movements. This time we will copy the first 12 movements appropriately since we know that they are periodic in a valid sequence. Oops. 
The 210 pattern produced only half of a sequence and returned to the origin after 72 movements. If we continue the same sequence will repeat forever, the reason for this is the original pattern shifts by 2 on the horizontal axis. So these shifts will never produce the odd absicus. Additionally after 6 shifts it will have to come back to the origin. To illustrate the point let's do the next pattern as well, 3 and 9 pattern. Again the pattern finishes early and repeats endlessly without visiting abscissas that are not multiple of 3. For completeness sake let's show the cases for 4-8 and 6-6 six, six as well. For 5-7 pattern the case is different. They produce full sequences. This is because multiples of 5 modulo 12 produce all of the required abscissas, the same is true for 7-5 and 11-1 pattern as well. This is obviously because they don't have a common factor with 12. We don't have to put all the right movemnets back to back. They will still produce the full sequence as shown. To be exact let's prove the heuristic statements we made earlier. Let's assume that we have right movement at a certain point on the grid point x y. The observation we made earlier can be written as follows. After 12 moves, we are at another point u v on the grid. Let's say among the 12 movements there were j right movements. We can find the movement of this new point easily. This same argument is applicable for the upward movements. Therefore, any movement is the same as 12 movement before. This means the first 12 movement is equivalent to the next 12 movements, and those 12 movements is equivalent to the next 12, and so on. Therefore, for a valid sequence we need to have strictly 144th point to be 0, 0. This means that the equation must be solvable for only n equals 12. This condition precludes values of 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 for i or by symmetry for j. Therefore, valid sequences can be constructed only for i equals 1, 5, 7, and 11. If there are our right movements, we can create 12 choose our different initial patterns for the first 12 movements. Therefore total number of valid sequences is found by adding the number of valid sequences corresponding to our equals 1, 5, 7, and 11 values. Thank you for watching. For AMC and AME summer camps and online courses visit our website starleague.us.